So, can I hand the documents now so I can? Yes, sure. Good day, ma'am. Good day. How may I help you? I have an interview here today. I'm sorry, the interview ended an hour ago. Jesus, oh my God. Uh, okay, fine. Um, please, is, 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 is there a way I can see your boss? Maybe I can convince him to grant an interview for me. I'm sorry, ma. We don't grant applicants access to our boss. Even if we do, he cannot do anything for you. Oh my God. So what am I going to do? Okay, um, is there anything I can do here? Anything, cleaning, I can make this place squeaky clean. I, I can do laundry, anything, please. We are not hiring, ma. Oh my goodness, how worse can today be? Okay, fine, thank you. You're welcome. Anna, what happened? You look so exhausted. I am tired. This job thing is stressing me out. I am tired of going from one office to another. And they keep saying the same thing. We are not hiring. Trust me, I understand. It's usually like that at the beginning. One even said they can't hire me because I don't have a work experience. It's not funny. How can I have a work experience when no one gives me the chance to work? Okay, Anna, just relax, okay? You get yourself a job, a good one at that. I pray. Babe, did you cook anything? Yes, I made pasta. You did? Oh my god, thanks so much. Thank You're welcome, darling. <laughs> Hey, excuse me. I recognize you. You're the lady I met at Stock Holt Resorts the other day, looking for a job. <sighs> yes, do I know you? Squeaky clean. Laundry, you can do just about any work. Oh my god, that was embarrassing, right? <laughs> Not really. I like your passion to work. Thank you. By the way, my name is Ken. You are... Anna. My name is Anna. Anna. My name is Anna. So, do you live around here? Because I would like to see your face again. Um, I, I live a few blocks away. Oh, all right. Um, can I get your phone number? If you don't mind. <sighs> okay. Thank you. All right, so... Take care. I'll see you around. By the way, you look great. I know. Cocky much, right? <laughs> Babe, you aren't going to work today? No, I called in sick. I have this proposal I'm working on and it needs my full concentration. I'll make breakfast for two then. Okay, aren't you going job hunting today? Ah, oh, my dear, I'm taking a day off. By the way, babes, it's been a long time we went out. Let me take you out for lunch. Don't worry, my treats. Oh, look who wants to spoil me. Ah, oh, please don't get ahead of yourself, I beg. Ah. I don't have money to spend more, too. So you don't go there and start ordering all the principalities and power. Please, we're going to stick to food and water. <laughs> Did you hear me? Food and water. Okay, 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 wait. Wait, did you just say principalities and powers? So what you're trying to say is no milkshakes, no hamburgers. No principalities and powers. <laughs> okay, okay, let me finish up. <laughs>
I've heard you. Okay. Now I'll go, sir. Ah, how are you? Hi, sir. I'm not sir. I'm back. Hello, mom. Ken, you need to minimize the amount of call you make so that you intensify your relationship with Clara. She's inside. You were spying on me the whole time I was on call? I was just keeping an eye on my son to make sure he doesn't make such mistakes again. Okay? I'll try my best. But my call was official. Don't assume that all the time I'm on the phone, I'm talking to women. <laughs> it's okay. Handsome son. Just be careful, okay? I've heard you, mom. <laughs> it's all right. I'm kind of tired now, so let me go in and rest. No problem. <laughs> it's all right. Take care. Yes, mom. What are you doing? Now you're going through my phone? Why are you panicking? Are you scared that I might find something? Don't be stupid. This is wrong. I don't go through your phone, so you shouldn't go through mine. What have you been up to lately? You don't seem happy that I'm here. You make it really difficult to live with you. Is that all? Or there's more to this your bad mood every time I'm around? Why are you being so insensitive? By the way, why didn't you inform me before coming here? Why does it bother you that I came here unannounced? Huh? Are you perhaps hiding something? I have had a very stressful day at the office. What I need right now is some peaceful relaxation. You've gone through my phone. Did you see anything? Well, I'm not done looking. You're insane. Going somewhere? Yes, Mom. I'm going to meet up with Frank. Are you leaving Clara behind? You're supposed to take her along with you. Mom, I don't have time for this. I am not going for a picnic or going to a club. Neither am I going to any of the places she likes to go to. I'm going to meet up with Frank for a private business meeting. Ken. Oh, please, stop it, Mom. Please. Ken! What is wrong with this young man? Eh? Oh, don't he realize he's supposed to be taking this girl along with him? So that, anyway. Ah. Look, man, if you don't want her, then let her go. I am not holding her back. Do you know that when she got drunk and broke my laptop, I thought she would never come back? But there goes my peace of mind. When I got back from work, she was back. I don't think all those months that Clara spent at the rehab helped her at all. I think she just pretended to be fine just to get out. Look, what, what are you going to do now? Get married? <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. I was just joking. That's an expensive joke. <laughs> Look, I think you should give her some time. She will change. I have given her so much time already. I have given Clara many chances, but the thing about Clara is that she's just something else. Do you know that I caught her this morning going through my phone? <laughs> what? How did you get involved with her in the first place? Family, friends, ties, business associates and all that bullshit about a relationship between both families that goes way back. And of course, my mom loves Clara. I love her too, no lies. But I just wish she would change and become the woman for me. The woman that I want.
Hey, hey girls. Hi, Ken. Hi. You're just everywhere. So are you. But you know what? Maybe it's fate trying to bring us together. Don't you think? I think you should stop reading a lot of romantic novels because it's really getting into your head. I will make no promises. <laughs> so what are you guys... So, what are you guys doing here? Oh, I came to grab lunch with my girlfriend, Keisha. Hi, Hi. I'm Ken. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure is mine. Anna, how's your job hunting going? Well, really hard, but I keep pushing. All right, you know what, I'll call you later so we can talk more about it. All right, thank you. By the way, you look ravishing. Mm, well, I wish I could say the same about you. Ouch! Okay, are you trying to say I'm not cute enough? Oh, oh please, don't, don't listen to her. I think you're hot, like a heather. Hot <gasps> box of chocolate! That's my girl. I like her already. <laughs> Maybe your friend should be more like you. Oh, uh, well, I feel betrayed. So you're supporting him? Come on, Anna, I'm just trying to be honest. I mean, look at him. The beards, the uh, jawline, <laughs> the chiseled face. Yeah. Mr. Gen, your mama born you well. <laughs> I like her sense of humor. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, I should be leaving now. I have to run off. Okay. So I'll see you girls some other time, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye, Ken. Bye, hot bug. Goodbye, Anna. And Keisha. Yes. I could get used to that nickname, hot box. You know, it makes my muscles flex. Mm. And I like the sound of your mouth. I just wish that your friend could call me that name. Oh, in your dreams. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi. Right. See you later. Huh? Bye. 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 Why were you behaving so flirty? Hot box, really? Anna, you haven't told me you found a man. And a god just one of that. Keisha, you know if I find a man, you will be the first to know. And besides, he's not that gorgeous. So who is Mr. Kane? <sighs> Believe me, I don't know him. Anna, the eyebrow, then you know when you lie, the eyebrow goes up, so you're lying. Be fine. I don't know him that well. Um, I bumped into him a couple of times, but... <laughs> Babe, can we just order something? You bumped into him a couple of times and the chemistry is already growing. Oh, what chemistry are you talking about? <laughs> Babe, please, stop. All right, fine. Let's just grab yeah. something to eat. <laughs> Done. What games were you playing? Games. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the girl back there. Oh, you mean Anna? Yes, Anna. She's nobody. She's just a random girl who's looking for a job. And I'm interested in helping her. You're lying through your teeth. Bro, you appraised her from top to bottom. Why would I do that? What do you mean, why would you do that? Because you like her. Like her? Yes. You seem to forget that I have a mad woman in the house. Clara would kill me if I ever look at another woman. She might have a few knots loose upstairs, but I like her. My mother likes her too. So that's all that matters. Is it? <laughs> Stop it. It's not funny at all. I made your favorite fried rice. <sighs> Can you see it, Ken? <laughs> Clara is not just a fashionable young lady, but also a good cook. Do you know it's very rare to find young girls that have such balances? Uh, 
thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> Please let us pray. I want you to raise your hands like this. You know, this is the first time Clara is cooking for us a delicious meal. All right. Father Lord, bless this food to nourish our body and soul through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Bon Eat it. Fried rice. Eat it. Mm. How can food that, that smells so nice taste like, like rotten beef? It's okay. It's okay, dear. Don't enter that kitchen again. It's okay. Mm. You're nice to her. <sighs> Mama was only trying to help. I understand. Okay, he's mad at me. It's okay. You you will come over it, okay? Don't worry, I'll fix something for us. Hmm? Meanwhile, clear all the spots, okay? mean to Clara a while ago. You shouldn't have acted that way towards her. If she cannot cook, why did she enter the kitchen? Oh, come on. You know her better than that. You know how she was raised. She has never cooked in her entire life. She just did this because of you. Really? Because of me? Yes. <laughs> Mom, I have been dating Clara for two years, so I know she cannot cook. We have been best friends since we were kids, and I know her very well. I'm not complaining because I know she can't cook. I can afford to pay for a maid, so I don't need my woman to stress herself. My dear, Clara thinks you are drifting away from her. But how? I'm here, am I not? Oh wait, was she trying to impress me with food? Come on, mom. That's not the way I want to be impressed. My dear son. She is trying. Just give her a chance. I am giving her so many chances. Remember her anxiety disorder. Do not forget what the doctors told you. Give her peace. Make her feel safe. Do not even say things or do things that will give her nervous breakdown. Or make her resort. Make her go into anxiety breakdown or even restored to cracking again. Mom, you of all people know that Clara is my number one priority. Apart from you, of course. You know that. I know, son. But please, just do this for me, okay? It's okay, Mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I spoke out of tone yesterday. I should have at least appreciated the fact that you made an effort to cook for me. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm not mad at you. You know I can't stay mad at you. No matter how hard I try. <laughs> You're still that boy that held me all through the night when I lost my younger brother. That boy that has become my brother. My best friend. And my lover. 
But you were only eight when Michael died. I'm surprised that you still remember. Some things are hard to forget. True. I haven't forgotten either. And you know what? I don't think you saw your gorgeous self in the kitchen. I want you to sit pretty and concentrate on taking care of yourself, especially your mental health. So I would call the agency to send us a new maid. Julia is getting married, so she won't be coming back. Thank you. You're welcome. You're back. Welcome, son. Thank you, mom. So, how was work today? Ah, oh, it was really stressful, but it was worth it. Really? I have a Chinese client who is flying into the country to close a life-changing deal with me by weekend. We are thinking of diversity. Okay. We're taking Crimson Industries into the robotic world, and it's going to be the first of its kind in Nigeria. Wow, really? I've actually been working on this project for months now. But I didn't tell you about it because I wanted it to mature. But now that I see that things are finally coming together, that's why I'm breaking the news to you. Uh, I'm breaking the news to you. Oh my God, thank you very much, son. <laughs> yes, I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> thank you. And I know that wherever your father is today, he will be proud of you, Kali. <sighs> My dear, how I wish your father was here to yeah. watch you grow into a strong, hardworking young man that you are today. <sighs> May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Mom, thank you so much. It feels really good to hear those words come out from your mouth. You are indeed my pillar of strength. Thank you, Mom. It's okay. I should be the one saying thank you. Because you have been a wonderful son to me. You have always made me proud. I love you, son. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom, is, is Clara in? I can't wait to break the news to her. Oh, she'll be thrilled. Okay. She's inside. I'll be right back. All right, dear. <laughs> Clara! Uh... Honey, I'm home! Honey! Honey! the house. What do you mean she's not inside the house? I was with her a while ago before I decided to go and freshen up. So where could she have gone to? That's what I'm saying. She's not in the house. <sighs> John Bosco! Yeah. Okay. Come, come. That's okay. Did Madame Clara leave this house? Ha. No, okay. Madame never passed that gate today. I did here today. 
But if she couldn't have gone far, her car is parked here. Mom, that's not the issue. You know her condition. And you know how chaotic she gets when she's alone. Let me call her number. Her phone is switched off. Hey. She sneaked out of this house and she switched off her line. Stupid. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, son. Don't just get yourself worked up over this, okay? Don't spoil your joyous mood. Mom, look at the time. It's 6 p.m. I don't have a good feeling about this at all, Mom. She will come back. Let's just hope she will come back, okay? And very soon. It's okay. Mom, it's 11 p.m. And still her number is not going through. Hey. I'm also worried though. This girl is trouble. But it was your idea to get her out of rehab. I said let's wait and monitor her recovery process. You said no. That her father was mad that we locked his daughter away. Can you see the kind of problem she's trying to land me? Hey. Oh my goodness. I hope she's safe out there. Eh? Hey, have you called any of her friends? I don't know any of her friends. She doesn't even let me know anything about her social life. Wait. Let me check her social media. Probably she has an update. Sorry. Look, Mom. The last update was by 5 p.m. But she was here then, right? Yes. Hey! My God. What is happening there? I don't know. Who is it? Who is it? What is what is wrong with John Bosco? Hey, what? So, how long will it take you to open the damn door? Sorry, madam. Clara. Please don't call me that. Mom, can you see that? <laughs> she went clubbing. Same old habits she won't drop. Oh, Clara, why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> Easy, huh? Easy. Easy, huh? Easy. Uh, uh, stay with me, Ken. Hey. Hey. It's okay. <coughs> Just relax. Don't move much. Right. Stay with me, Ken. I'm right here with you, Clara. Let me join you in bed.
Morning, sweetie. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hangover, right? Yeah, my head. I feel like a concrete has replaced my brain. Sorry, huh? Babe, thank you for taking care of me last night. We are friends, right? And we were friends before we became lovers. So I would always be responsible for you. But Clara, what I don't understand is why you won't leave this your lifestyle for my sake. Am I not worth it? You're worth it. You're more than worth it, Ken. I, I promised it to stop. But you have not stopped. I'm trying. I mean, look at you. You came in last night wasted. Not to talk of the high blood pressure you nearly gave mom when we couldn't get through to you. I was boxed up in this house. I needed a breath of fresh air. Well, you should have told me. Like you would let me leave if I told you. You know what, let me just go and get you a cup of tea. Maybe it will help to clear this hangover that you're going through. But you must apologize to mom. mad how can you reduce yourself to something as cheap as this there's no way i'm letting you do that kaisha it's just for a while you know i've been looking for a job for months now uh, without any progress okay just one month okay give me one month i can talk to my boss to secure you a place in fact there's this my colleague that is traveling for his master's degree I can fix you somewhere, just one month, okay? You don't understand. I don't have one month. I don't have one month at all. My kid sister needs to register for her work by the end of the month. And mama is not too strong. I need this job to provide for them. Okay, I, I understand. What about Mr. Hotbox? He promised you something, okay? We can just exercise a little patience and wait. Mr. Hotbox? Yes. That one? That one that has not called me since he collected my number? Keisha, just one month. Anna, do you even know who you are? A first class degree holder in economics. This is so humiliating and heartbreaking. Well, it's not my fault that my first class degree couldn't get me a decent job in this part of the world. Madam Abeg, let's change this topic. I'm, I'm beginning to get angry. What have you been eating? You're almost taller than me. Nah, but I'm still very small, sister. You, very small. Wait, what has mama been feeding you with? Nah. <laughs> mama feeds me well. I eat both your portion and mine. Eh, hey, I am here now. I am going to eat my portion. Okay. Hmm? Where is she? <laughs> ah, what is going on here? Let me go! Emma, baby! I miss you! Thank you. Hey. Father, I'm so grateful. Receive all that glory. Amen. What you cannot do does not exist. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. Hey. So <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Mom, the paper is upside down. So? Because I know you're not reading it. You just don't want to talk to me or even look at me and I understand. So mom, please find it in your heart to forgive me. Clara, why do you keep disappointing me? What have I done to deserve this kind of treatment from you? Since you entered this house, as my son's fiancée, I have just loved and cherished you like my own daughter. Why will you go out there to disgrace us like that? 
Why? I'm sorry, there's no there's no justification for what I did. That's foolish. I'm sorry. I vouched for you. I told everyone that you are all right. And so you don't need to be in the rehab anymore. Clara, you keep proving me wrong. Did you look at yourself last night? You were so drunk, bastardly drunk. You did not go out with your car. Your phone was switched off. What if something bad had happened to you? What if you were raped or even robbed? What could I have told your father? Mom, God forbid. Henceforth, I don't want something like that to happen again. I want you to behave yourself. Is that understood? I understand. Sorry, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Don't do that again. Travels. I love you. I love you too. I'll be inside. It's alright. Mom, I have something for you. Wow! <laughs> ha! Anna! Ha! All this money for me! No, now. If you give me all this, what will you manage with? Don't, huh? Let me give you some. Nee, hmm? don't worry. I will manage the little I have, okay? Use this to buy drawers and get foodstuffs for the house. That will at least last for two weeks. You know, go. Hi. Hi, Anna. This is too much, my dear. <sighs> nee, it is nothing compared to what you deserve. Hmm? Ah, but sister, what did you buy for me? Ah, mama, leave me alone. Eh? Look at all the money she gave you. She did not even buy anything for me. Ah, relax. Now, let's go inside. Ah, you know I got you. I have a lot of goodies for you. Ah, that bag that you're holding. Don't worry, let's go inside. Ah, mama, let's go inside. Let me show you. I know you like clothes. Ah, I bought enough for you. Clara! Clara! Yesterday, are you insane? Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to relieve myself from stress. I'm sorry. Can you remember how long you stayed in the rehabilitation center? Do you want your parents to send you back there? Or do you want Ken to send you back in? What is wrong with you? You can never change. Never. Let me have that thing. Give it to me, I said give it to me. Put it in my pants now. Come on, give it to me. Nonsense. Mama, I've used your food though. Mm. Well, sister, I am the one that cooked this. Mm, you know what? Mm. When did you enter the kitchen? Don't mind her. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mama, I came to see you. Ah. Mm. Because I'll be resuming work on Monday. And I don't think I'll be coming often to see you. Ah. What's the nature of this work that will be keeping you away? I applied as a maid with an agency. I don't understand. Maid as in housemaid. Makagini. Mama, it's just for one month. The company I applied uh, uh, with said they won't be needing me until next month. And isn't it needs to write her way? No. No child of mine will work as a maid. Mm. 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 Mm.
I didn't send you to school to graduate and come back and do housemate work now. Uh -uh. Mama, it's just for a short time. Eh? And you know, isn't it nice to write our work with our mates? She can take it next year. Next year? Yes. Ah, Mama, no. No way. No way. She'll write our work. Annabelle. A housemaid. Eh? Mama, it's just for a while. Hey! Babe, I had a very bad experience at work today. You remember the Chinese investor I told you about? Well, a few minutes to sign in the deal. He starts singing a different tone. I have invested so much money in this project and I'm so scared. I'm scared that I might lose everything that I have worked so hard for. And my partner on this particular project is a very successful, big wig, robotic CEO from South Africa. And she has been on a long break all these years. I if... Babe, I'm talking to you. Oh, Ken, please stop it. Can't you see I'm busy? I've lost thousands of followers because of one shitty news a shitty blog wrote about me. Okay, hammering about your business. How is that going to bring back my followers? If these blogs think that I'm going to let this slide for a second, they better have another thing coming by the time I am done with them. They'll be sorry. Hungry, shitty blogs. Good morning, love. Good morning. You can get up, please. Something I want you to do for me. What is it? Just stand up first, please. <sighs> Here, hold okay. this. Well, what are you doing with food this early morning? Babe, just hold this first. Hold it now. What for? I'm not hungry. It's not for you, silly. <sighs> All right. Okay, now, so I'm going to lie in bed and we take my phone, turn on the camera, and make a video of you serving me breakfast in bed. <laughs> Are you mad? Why will I do that? <laughs> Babe, it's just for the gram. It's nothing serious. Just be a good actor, you know, serve me the breakfast. Sing my praises and then you kiss me tenderly. Not on my lips though. My temple. Is all this really necessary? Yes, very necessary. Alright, fine. I don't want to argue. Where's your phone? Annabelle. Just know that I'm not in support of this job you are going to do in the city. I know. And I don't like it either. But it's for the good of everyone. Just be very careful around these rich people. They can be very hostile to their helps. Ah, Mama, you worry so much. But I need you to understand that I am no longer a child. And if trouble starts, I have my two legs to walk away. <laughs> say that again. <laughs> and isn't it? Oh, please, I beg you. I need you to take care of Mama. Okay? And if she becomes sick, which I don't pray, do not hesitate to call me. I will. Okay? I will not fall sick again, no. I'm now strong. May God do I'm fit. <laughs> yeah. Mama, I can see how fit you are. Yes. Nee. Be cool. Take care of yourself. Nah. No, you too. You know I love you. I love you more. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm lit. Send Johnny, my dear. Bye, bye, man. All right. Hey, baby. Wakey, wakey. 
Wake up, my sunshine. Hey, sunshine. Good morning. Good morning, darling. I made you breakfast. Oh, you made me breakfast. Mm -hmm. In bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. I love oh, you, baby. And I love you more, darling. <laughs> you know I would do just about anything for you. All right. Aww. So come here. Move here. Let me spin food you like the baby that you are. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you the sweetest man on earth? Oh, I am, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Say hi to the camera. Oh, you're recording. Yes, I'm filming. <laughs> um, hi guys. My baby made me breakfast. In bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't he the sweetest man? Ah, <laughs> you know you deserve it and much more, my darling. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. uh. Is that okay now? Oh my god, you're such a wonderful actor. <laughs> but you know you shouldn't have ended it like that. You're so Should have added extra, you know, drama. You're so <laughs> impossible. Don't make me do something like this next time. Is it a bad thing to serve me breakfast in bed? It's not. But well, it's bad when it's a lie. Why is he so angry? I hope he pressed record. Okay. <sighs> hey, mom. Oh, I'm off to work. Okay. Yeah, by the way, the agency will be sending the new maid. Please do help her get settled, okay? Wow, <laughs> that is very good. <laughs> because I'm tired of eating noodles and drinking tea and bread every time. Every time. <laughs> oh, that junk is not good for me, especially at this age. I know, Mom, I know. Mm, thank yeah, you, son. Man. All right, dear. Yeah. Love Take you. Take care of yourself. I love you too. Oh, <laughs> what is my son? <sighs> he loves me so much. Mm. So at least I can now eat vegetables, eat whatever I want to eat. Not all that noodles, bread, tea. Oh. Don't you think you're becoming too invested in your looks? Phone and social media, more than you are with Ken. For crying out loud, turn it down. Turn it down. When are you going to stop this lifestyle of yours? You're overreacting, jeez. I am overreacting? I like you for my son, and that is why I have always given my support, despite yourself. Despite myself? Mom, you don't also think that I'm mad, do you? My dear, if you do not stop, I am going to withdraw my support. Mom, Ken loves me. He loves me regardless of what you or anyone else thinks. Mom, I am an influencer. Influencer, that's what I am. This is my life. Ken knows this. He understands this, Mom. It's not complaining. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> my dear, do not say I did not warn you. Mom, I can handle Ken. I hope so. Suit yourself. Link agency. I am the new maid. John Bosco? Uh, uh, madam. Who's there? Madam, you feel like saying uh, the new maid, they say their agency oh. sent Okay. Come inside. Thank you. Good day, 
Emma. John Bosco. Ah, uh, yes, madam. Show her to the staff room. And okay. You. What's your name? <laughs> you know, never mind. I'll just call you. Pig. How about that? I'm sorry, Ma. I have a name. My name is Annabelle. You don't tell me what to call you, Gorilla. John Bosco. Yes, madam. Take her to her little cubicle. When you're settled in, come to the kitchen for your first assignment. Let me ask. That's your madam. Is that how she talks to strangers? <laughs> My madam now. No be our madam again. Oh. Our madam. Uh -huh, better. Better. See that's where you just see. Na intro. That woman a wala. So I will just advise you. <laughs> Manage your well. Manage your well. What you just see now? Before you get to the middle of it, you go, you go worry you. This journey is going to be harder than I expected. Journey the way you never even starts. Now you don't they complain. By the time you get to the middle of this journey, if you if you run, no, I tell you when I come this as newly, eh? Na 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 na, I cook or she they call me. Local foul, yes, local foul. Then she be they call me. I'm telling you. Ah, if not be so, I got I got I got contact me. No, they call me that name again. She now local foul. She for they call me rich now. So so when they give you give you gorilla, give you just to like they complain. Sweet name like that. Oga. Hmm. Ah. Sounds like he's a nice man. Me, my Oga? Yeah. Very nice. Oga, if you see my Oga, I'll come and say so. Very tall. Very fair. Sexy. You can watch it. Oh, will chill. Oga is a nice man. Hi. Hey, come, let's go. Let me go and show you your room. Okay. Hey, will chill. Anna? Anna! My fiance's favorite meal is fried rice. So I want you to make a sumptuous meal of fried rice for him, for his dinner. Everything you need is in there. If there's anything else you need, do let me know. Okay, ma. And make it snappy, because I want to be the one to serve him myself. And while I do that, I want you out of sight. I don't want him to know you made it. Okay, ma. I'm the new maid, ma. Maid? Yes, ma. And you're dressed like this? Like how, ma? Your hair? Your makeup? Your dressing? Oh, never mind. I hope you're getting along knowing your way through the house. Yes, ma. Madame Clara has actually put me through. Oh, it's okay. Please, I'm having slight headache. I need to have some rest outside. Oh, so sorry, ma. Thank you. If you need anything, just call. Annabelle, what are you doing here? I made you ginger tea. It will help relieve your headache. Really? It's a quick remedy my mother uses on my sister and I every time you have a headache or cold. It will also help calm your nerves. 
<sighs> Sorry, Ma. It's okay. Mm. You like it? Mm. It is nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ma. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I think it's quite relieving too. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Amazing. And Ma, if you don't mind, mm, I would love to give you a head massage. Sure. I think I it should help. It's a do. Why not? Sorry. Mm. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Just. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Sorry, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh this is Sorry, good. Sorry, Thank you. I think I'm getting relieved. Chai. Oh. The headache is almost. Disappearing. <laughs> no, ma, don't worry. You'll be fine. Thank you very much. Did you learn this? No, ma. And you're so good at it. <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's okay, ma. Thank um, you. I'll oh. be in the kitchen. It's all right, dear. Hi, ma. Enjoy your tea. It's okay. Hi guys, it's your girl, Clara. So today, I'm going to be surprising my handsome, gorgeous, loving, kind, beautiful, everything you can think of husband to this sumptuous fried rice. Can you see? Uh-huh. I made this. <laughs> I know some of you don't know I'm a good cook. Yeah, I made this. And he doesn't know it yet. But he'll be back soon and I'm going to go live again and stream the surprise. Okay, so stay tuned to my page. You don't want to miss it. All right, guys. Peace out. Anna. Ma? I made this food. I don't understand, Ma. My fiancé will be coming back any moment from now. And I want you out of sight. I made this food. Understand? Okay, Ma. Such a nice girl. <sighs> mom! Hey, mom. I'm back. Welcome, son. Welcome. Oh. Mom, are you okay? You look pale. You look pale. <sighs> My dear, I had serious headache and fever, but I'm okay now. Mom, I think you need to visit the hospital. Hmm? Visit the hospital? Yes. <laughs> Just for slight fever. Mm -mm, no. Mom, there's nothing like a slight fever. Mm. Your body is warm. <sighs> Trust me, I am fine. I am good. The new girl gave me a head massage and prepared this um, ginger tea for me. And trust me, it works better than drugs. Oh, that's nice. Where's the new girl? She's inside. Oh. Anna! Oh. Annabelle! Ma? Oh, oh, say that. Please go. Mr. Hotbox! Anna! <sighs> My goodness! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I live here! Really? Yes, this is my house! What are you doing here? <sighs> I am the new help. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. The house help? Yes. I wanted to call you for a job, but I've been boxed up with so much work stuff. Believe me, I have you in mind. Mm. Well, I'm here now, sir. Oh, please. Don't call me, sir. We're friends. Mm. Okay. I'll be in the kitchen. I'm doing something. All right. <laughs> All right. Mr. Hotbox. Do you know her? Yes, Mom. We are friends. I'm just surprised that she's the new house help. Oh, she's a very good girl. 
and very smart too. Mom, she's a first class graduate in economy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No wonder, because the moment I saw her, I believe there is more to what I'm saying. She's so intelligent. Mm. She's more than a house help anyway. Oh, my dear, let's go inside and eat, okay? Food is ready. Okay. I think I'll just freshen up first, Mom. It's all right. I still think you need to visit the hospital. I'm good with my ginger tea. <laughs> Hey, honey. Hi. Come over here. What's going on? I made you dinner. This looks appetizing. Yeah. You actually made this. Of course. You know, I messed up the last time, so this is a compensation for that. <laughs> All right. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. I knew you'd like it. It's actually good. Yeah. Uh, but, um, honey, I want you to do something for me. Uh, yeah. I want to go live on Instagram. You know, I want to show my fans that I made this for you. You know, I want to stream the whole thing live, the whole surprise. You know how it is on Instagram. Please. Are you really going to do this now? Honey, please now, just do this small thing for me. I just got back from work. I am tired and famished. Why would you put me through this instead of allowing me to eat first and rest? Okay, don't worry, it's just for 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Listen, after 30 minutes, you can eat anyhow you want. What am I going to be saying for 30 minutes? Well, you can just sing my praises, you know, tell them how loving and kind and how much of a good cook I am. Okay? And while you're at it, please, honey, don't forget to smile. Fine. <laughs> but I'm not going to be talking for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Smile, right? Like this. Honey, not that fake smile now. It's genuine one. Okay, more like this. That's better. All right, so I'll be live in four, three, two, two. Hi, guys. It's your girl, Clara, again. I'm back like I promised. And guess what, guys? The mister is already digging it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now let's hear his reaction. Mm. Hey, guys. How you doing? This is the best meal I have eaten in my entire life. <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> guys, I assure you, my beautiful damsel here is the best cook in the whole world. <laughs> Guys, you heard it from the horse's mouth. I am the best cook in the whole wide world. Look who's digging it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll leave him to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to give a tutorial on how I made this sumptuous fried rice. You don't want to miss it too. You have to subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel with the link on my bio. All right? Guys, make this baby girl happy and subscribe. Let's sign out and let someone enjoy his meal. <laughs> Bye, guys. My sense for me. Yes. I want you to wash this for me. Okay, ma. And do not use the washing machine. It destroys my clothes. Okay, ma. Ma, these are undies. Mm-hmm. So? You don't wash yours? I wash mine, but I cannot wash another woman's undies. <laughs> Oh, forgive me. <laughs> if you can wash yours as filthy as it is, mine should be a piece of cake. 
and I'm very sure it's cleaner than your entire generation. I will not wash it. What did you just say? I said I will not wash it. You are not walking out on me, pig! Ada! Hey, what is going on? I, I, mother, I this thing we employed as a maid will not be useful to us. Can you imagine? She refused to wash my undies. Look at her. Hey, 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 please stop it. Stop, stop spreading disease. Eh? Look, how do you expect another woman to wash your undies for you? Don't you have hands? So why then did we employ her as a maid if she can't do her job? I said stop spreading disease. Stop spreading virus. Fold that thing. Do you hear me? We did not employ her to wash your undies. Her job description does not uh, include washing of undies. Do you hear me? Please, my dear, you can go. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Mother, why would you take her side like that? Will you shut up? I can see you're turning to a bully. Mom, I did not bully Anna. I cannot bully her. Why would I bully her? I only asked her to wash my undies. But I heard you call her that thing. I heard you call her a pig. And me want stop spreading that. Stop, stop that thing. Don't get me sick. Oh. Don't you know this thing can cause kata? Cold. Flu. Please. Mom, it's not that deep. Hey, listen. If you cannot wash your undies, you can keep on buying new ones. After you have been doing it since the last maid left. Rubbish. Just look at you. You can't even wash panties. Mom. She has to wash hey! my undies. It's just, it's just undies. Stop Why would she wash my undies? Dirty girl. And you have the mouth to call somebody pig. Oh. Please get me a deodorant and let me spray this place. What sort of rubbish is that? Hey, bro. What are you doing at home? Want to grab a few bottles of beer? What do you mean? Is there a specific time frame for drinking? I don't drink often. Not that I don't drink at all. Besides, I'm just looking for an excuse not to go home early. Bro, have you checked her Instagram page? I am everywhere. It's not funny. I'm sure if you go to my house now, you will see her setting up her ring lights waiting for me so she can drag me in front of the camera. Lies. Too much lies in one girl. Thickness, deceit, and it's making me sick. With all the problems I'm facing at work, do you know she's only concerned about what the blogger wrote about her and all the followers that she has lost because of it? I have tried countless times, but she's not backing off. Yeah. Ma, how are you feeling now? A lot better. All thanks to your ginger tea and your head massage. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that for the past three years, this is the first time I am sleeping peacefully without antidepressant. Wow, that's good to hear. Hmm. My dear, I have suffered depression all my life since after the demise of my husband. Both of us were in the car traveling to our hometown for the marriage of the younger brother. He lost control of the steering and ran into a moving truck. He died on the spot. And I was in coma for almost one year. 
I am so sorry, Ma. That's so sad. Yeah, it's really a sad story. Guys, my mother-in-law has been battling depression after the death of my father-in-law. Look at her. Look at her. I hate to see her like this. Guys, please put her in your prayers for me. Mom, can you say something to the camera? About Will you the put that in off my face? Are you mad? Let me not see that stupid thing off my on my face again, you insolent child. What is wrong with you? Mommy, you're not overreacting. It's not that deep. Listen, I want to use my platform. I have lots of followers. I want to use my platform to reach out to everybody, all the people in the world suffering depression. You know, it's a sad story. It's going to generate so much buzz. Come on, let's see. Shut up out there. You want to use my private life to put out in the public. You dare not try it. You dare not try it. Okay, mom, just help me now. Huh? I've been lacking content lately. You know, my my my, my followers are, are leaving me. They're they unfollowing me. You know, just content. You know, let's talk about this depression, right? Clara, have you gone insane? What is wrong with you? You want to put my personal life to the public? Delete that in right now. Else you have me to contend with. Please get out of my sight. Rubbish. So the child is this. She doesn't even care whether I'm sick. She doesn't know how I'm doing. Her only interest is to record and send out to the public. I'm even tired. I don't want to eat anymore. Please. Just pour water for me and I'm good. Hi, Mr. Hotbox in Kaisha's voice. <laughs> Kaisha, my very good friend. How is she? She's very well. I talk to her often. Oh, that's good. Uh, just make sure you extend my regards to her when you speak to her. Okay. Okay, sir. I will. You do know that we have a laundry room fully equipped with two different washing machines. Why are you out here in the open washing with your bare hands? Sir, I am following Madame Clara's instruction. Uh, she said the machine damages her clothes. Is that so? Yes, sir. I've never heard her say that before. <laughs> Anyways, how are you? I hope you're not facing more challenges. Not at all, sir. So how is work? Uh, I'm trying. Honestly speaking, it hasn't been really fine. Just like yours. <laughs> Truth is, I've been facing <clears throat> some challenges because um, I've been losing deals of late. As a matter of fact, the last deal I lost is supposed to be the biggest deal of my life. But well, someone else grabbed it. Wow. I am so sorry about that. So what are you going to do now? What can I do? I'm working really hard, trying to bounce back. But don't worry. I'll find a way around it. Just keep doing what you're doing, huh? Okay, sir. All right, Anna. Bye. Hi, Anna. They are very nice people. Uh -huh. Ken, his mom. His mom is such a sweet person. Mm -hmm. And his fiance. Hmm. Wait, Ken has a fiance. Uh, fiance or girlfriend, I don't even know. Wow. That girl is a very horrible person. I don't know. I heard she's a popular social media influencer. One Clara. With Wan Clara Wankwo. Yes. Okay. Clara. Do you know her? Yes, man, that girl has been on every blog. I just heard she's an addict and she just got out of rehab. What is Ken even doing with a girl like that? My dear, I don't know. That girl makes everything about herself. She makes videos of everything, including the sensitive one. Oh, please. I just wonder how that girl got out of that rehab. Somebody should please do me a favor and send her back. She needs help. Mm. My dear, enough talking about my employees. Okay. Can we talk about you now? How have you been? I've been fine. You know the house is very boring without you. I hope you're just coming back. This is just for temporary time. Hopefully. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Soon. And then I, my employee, the one I told you about, okay. he's almost ready to travel. Mm -hmm. And when he does, the city is all yours. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, 
I hope I'm not being too nosy. What exactly is the challenge you're facing in the office? Oh, that. Sit. Let me show you. This field deal is one of those rare times that an important and lucrative chicken I counted on didn't hatch. I lost half quarter of my project's revenue for the year. Wow, my goodness. Well, I've tried to move past it by looking on the bright side. But I have lost my confidence. I'm now beginning to doubt myself. I look at this project and I just feel like they are all going to get cancelled. Truth is, I believe that everything that I have created and pitched for the rest of the year would go absolutely nowhere. Sir, don't ever doubt yourself. How you handle adversity reveals your true character. You have to speak positivity into anything you do, whatever you're doing. Anna, it is not that simple. Sir, can you allow me to handle this? What can you do? Don't you believe I can? Oh, please don't take it the wrong way. I don't mean to doubt you at all, but... We have tried to remedy this situation, including my friend Frank, who happens to be the youngest business consultant out of Africa that got global recognition, but yet he couldn't do much. I know, but can you allow me at least handle this, please? Guess I can. <laughs> Thank you, but I have a condition. Okay, what is it? That you let me have it my way. And um, the difficult one is, I get to be your boss. Throughout the time, I will be working with you on this project. Is that all? <laughs> that will be easy, ma'am. Ma'am? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, since you're going to be my boss, I should get used to calling you ma'am. No, stick to Anna. It's fine. <laughs> okay, sir. I'll go back to the kitchen. I have something to do. Anna. Thank you. For what? For listening. I've been looking for someone who I could tell my problems and who will be willing to listen. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank God you're here, so let's get on with it. Okay? Chop, chop, chop. I hope everything you need is here. Yes, my everything is here, except meat. Meat. Bring the chicken in the freezer now, let's use it. Madam Stella said I should throw them away. It's spoiled. <laughs> we can use it like that, who cares? No one is gonna taste it, we just need the face. For camera, for the gram. Get it, let's use it like that. Come on, come on. Okay, let me watch this one. All right, okay. Hi guys, it's your girl Clara again and I'm here today to show you how I make my special fried rice. Here are my ingredients. I have my onions, my tomatoes, carrots, green peas, what have you. Now we're going to make my special fried rice. You don't... Oh, lest I forget. I have a new assistant. Anna, say hi to the camera. Hi. All right, so we'll get on with it now and I'll show you the finished product. Just stay tuned. All right. Thank you very much, Anne. Oh, are you done helping Clara with the video? Yes, ma. Okay. Do you have something else you're doing in the house? For now, no, ma. Okay. Why don't you sit down and lick the orange with me? Come on. 
Ma, you you want me to sit and take this with you? What is wrong with that? Why are you acting scared? Ma, it's just that most people won't allow their help sit close to them. <sighs> My dear, we are not most people, okay? <laughs> Ken told me that you are his friend, right? Yes, ma'am. So, a friend to Ken is a friend to me. Please sit. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you are so kind. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the compliment. <laughs> you know, I am usually lonely in this house. Is it that I'm watching film, or scanning through the pages of magazine, or even reading Bible, or just pressing my phone? But I'm glad you're here now. At least you're keeping me company. <laughs> As you know, Ken is always at work. Easy. And Clara, oh, that one. <laughs> one day her neck will freeze from constant pressing of phone. <laughs> Oh, see that? Um, I was just telling her about the movie I watched last night about one young man that was acting so funny in the movie that I was just doing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so funny. I tell you, Anna, are you not supposed to be doing something inside? I am the one that told her to sit with me. Okay? No, please cut orange. At least she's supposed to lick orange with me. Okay, I worked on this all night. I did something a little creative to get your project over the goal line. Mm. But in order not to lay your eggs in one basket, I also created this, a pitch deck for new proposals. How come I never thought about this? You're incredible. I mean, Anna, you're a genius. Okay. No, don't say my name. Don't say my first name, please. <laughs> I am your boss, remember? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But you're amazing, madam. <laughs> you are. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I also made plans for your marketing budgets. You could use the help of the advertising agencies to manage those budgets and create campaigns that can creatively tell investors about the story of your brand. And as an entrepreneur, you have to handle every setback and failure as a professional cheerleader. 99% of your time, you have to keep your chin up, stay positive and always put a smile on your face, okay? You don't have to let all of this weigh you down. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening to me, Mr. Hotbox? Oh, um, I'm sorry, it's just that... You are beautiful. And I like it when you call me Hotbox. <laughs> Sounds almost sensual. Uh, it's an offense to hit on your boss. <laughs> no, no, I'm not hitting on you, I'm just... I am simply stating the obvious, admiring the beautiful creation of God. And look at your jawline. Look at those lips. Your eyes are so deep. It freezes me to death. Hey, honey. Hey, sugar. Anna, there's something I want you to do for me. Come with me. Okay, I'll be with you shortly. No? Right now. She's helping me with work. Helping you with work? How does she know? A lot. Come on, look at this. Can you see now? Whatever. I still need her right now. <sighs> okay, so we'll continue later. Let All me right. join her. Join her. No, no, move it, move it to the, it's too much. Tilt it to the side a bit, yeah, then move it backwards. Just a bit. 
and then uh, get me my bum. My bum is right there. What happened to you? Oh, creating content, huh? Yes. And, um, babe, there's something I want you to do for me. What is it? I want you to, um, just stand on the background and yell. Scream, yell at me very loudly, abuse me, you know, all that stuff. Why would I do that? Well, I want to paint this image of you being an abusive boyfriend. What? Come on, baby. It's nothing serious. It's just for the gram. Do you know, that will boost my followership. Just imagine. Do you know how much buzz that will generate on social media? The CEO, Chrismon Industries, brutalizes his social media celebrity girlfriend, Clara Manko. <laughs> babe, that would be so hard. The internet will literally blow up. Come on, let's do this. You want me to do that to the detriment of my reputation? My clients, my businesses? You want me to, to ruin myself all for your few minutes of fame? Babe, calm down. Calm down. I can't do that to you. I care so much about you. Listen, after two days, I'll come out and debunk the news. And we're good again. <laughs> Do you realize that you're, you're so obsessed with this internet thing, this whole fame or whatever you call it? I don't even recognize you anymore! You're fake! You lie! Babe, are you going to help me or not? I will never allow you to ruin me! Never! Even if I... Don't you dare! you to undo what you have done. Mom, listen, I'm sorry to disappoint you, okay? Listen, there's nothing I can do right now until, like, say, after two days. Yes. Okay, now, can you imagine? In just four hours, four hours, Mom, I gained over a hundred thousand followers. Come, look at this. Look at all these people following. Mom, can you hear her? Can you hear what she's saying? She's not even bothered. She's enjoying the fact that my name is being dragged through the mud by her hungry fans. Clara. Clara, in less than four hours, you have gained over 100k followers. And Ken here has received over 100 calls and messages from your fans threatening his life. He has work. He has life to live outside this family. I am begging you as Ken's mother and as your own mom, so please, take down that video. If you say that you love me and appreciate me as your mother, please do that for me. She won't listen. She's so selfish. Look at her. Mom, I already said I would take down the video now. Didn't I say that? But it's not now. It's not now, Mom. It's not now. Listen, if I take down that video now, people are going to label me a liar. And all this work that I put in here now will just go to waste like that. Oh no. Just Two days, two, like this. Look, I do not have two days. Not very long, the police is going to come banging on that gate and I swear to you, I am not going to go to jail for you. Mom, talk to your daughter, talk some sense into her. The only reason I'm maintaining my cool is because of my respect for her father. Clara, if you push me beyond my limits, I swear to you, what I will do to you, you will regret yourself. It's okay. What how? It's okay, just calm down. Clara. Why did you do this? Why do you keep on disappointing me? Clara, 
No man wants his entire life and privacy out there in the public. And you keep on using a reserved person like Ken in chasing your clout. I give you just one hour. One hour to bring down that video. Else! Somebody trying their peace. Yeah. Man, I came as soon as I saw what she posted. This lady is snaring your name and your reputation. She's even making it so hard for me to defend her anymore. Look, bro, for your sanity, you need to stay away from social media this period. Because from all the hateful comments I'm seeing, is enough to drive you into depression. I regret getting her out of rehab. I swear I do. I promised her father I was going to take very good care of her. But Frank, the truth is that I am tired. You need to take it easy, man. I see everything. I've witnessed it all. I over, I overlooked her short comments. The drugs, the clubbing, the drinking. I let it all slide because I love her. I let it go because I believe that one day she was going to wake up in the morning and want to be a normal person, want to live a normal life. Try to be the woman that I want, a real woman, to become my wife. But of course, you know, no man would want to get married to a drug addict. Not me, not anyone else. She's still doing drugs? I don't know about that. But clubbing and drinking? Yes. But if I ever catch her doing drugs, I would have her sent back to the rehab and she'll never step into this house again. You just need to take it easy. You know, she developed an anxiety disorder when she lost her elder brother. They were close, really close. Ever since then, I have tried to take care of her. I have protected her. I have fought for her. She has been to different therapy sections, but somehow, I am the only one who can keep her tamed. Whenever she's with me, she's calmer. It's like the devil inside her listens. But bro, I am tired. I am really tired. I feel you, mom. How many companies did you mail this pitch deck and propose us to? I mailed three. One robotic company in Singapore, the other in, in Austria, and of course, China. Ken, it's been two days. I want you to check your mail. What for? I don't want to get my hopes high and have it crushed again. Look at me. Ken, look at me. I want you to trust yourself. Trust in your ability. You said it yourself, that a proposal is unique. It's something that you have never seen before. And I spent sleepless nights working on this project. And I don't want you to chicken out and allow my efforts go to waste. You are thorough, okay? Anna, why are you doing all this for me? You said we are friends, right? Just check your mail. All right. You see? Nothing. There is nothing there. I told you there is nothing. Just... Just keep pushing. Look, let's just give it up, okay? 
This is another failed business plan, just like many others. I'll just have to suck it up and start from the scratch again. But don't get me wrong, I appreciate your efforts, Anna, I do. Okay, about the marketing budget, have you given it a thought? Anna, I, I don't get advertising agencies, I don't involve them in my businesses. I create robots, not noodles or, or candies or whatever. You two have been spending a lot of time in this house lately. Can't you see she's helping me with work? Huh. A maid. Helping a widely known business boss with work. How's that even possible? I don't have time for this. And you. I can see that we have given you enough free time in this house. That you seem to be forgetting your place. Yes, Mom, I have. Mom, I'm sorry for everything. You're sorry for everything, yet you keep upsetting me. Eh? Why? Why did you do that? It won't happen again, I promise. I promise, it won't happen again. You will promise and promise and promise, yet you will never fulfill your promise. You, you never keep to your promises. Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I love Ken. I love him, I love him too much and... I won't intentionally do anything to, you know, jeopardize his business or him. You did it intentionally and you know that. Until you learn not to destroy those who you claim to love. You learn not to do things that will jeopardize them. You learn not to do things that will mar or destroy them. You will never change. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom. Can I love you, right? I love you too. But please, don't do that again. I promise. Thank you, Mom. Kaisha, okay, it's not funny. No, but seriously, why are you laughing about this? Eh? I just told you this lady is doing drugs. It's not only illegal, but it is dangerous to her health and to people around her. Honestly, Ken doesn't deserve this. He doesn't. He deserves someone that truly loves and understands him. Did you see her page? <laughs> My dear, that was drama. Big drama. I promise you, Ken did not lay a single finger on her. And you see all this glamorous lifestyle that she's living, posting on her page. They are all fake. Fake. <laughs> ah. My dear, you're right. I should stay out of it. No problem. But I just pretend sees who she truly is behind his back. And without me getting involved. No wala. Babe, let me talk to you later. I have something to do. Eh? Alright. I just came out to take your call. Alright, babe. Bye bye. That's okay, I don't eat too much like you. It's okay. Um, Anna, what? you should sit and eat with us. Huh? Why, Mom? She can go to the kitchen or anywhere else in the house. Why the dining? Anna, please, ignore her. Sit. Clara, 
Anna has been very exceptional since she came into the service of this house. She has served every one of us with so much energy. She has put in her mind in everything she's doing, even beyond her job description with so much enthusiasm. My dear, Anna is not just a maid. She has become my daughter. And I want her to sit on this same table and eat with me. If anyone is not comfortable with it, that person should take a walk. Oh, very true. I don't know how in such a short time you've been able to know everything about us. Mom is right. You have become a part of this family. You look after us even though it's not your job to do that. And we are truly happy to have you here. Thank you, sir. Um, you should go and get your plate and join us, okay? Uh, I, I'll, uh, I'll dish your food, don't worry. <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, before you do Thank that, you let much. us pray. After prayers, you go and get your plate, okay? okay Mom and pray, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, hands together. Clara, join your hands. <laughs> Mom, pray, please. Okay. Bless us, O oh Lord, and this your gift which we are about to receive from your bounty to Christ. Amen. Oh, please. Ben. Look, Clara, I think you're overreacting. I'm overreacting? Yes. Ken, how do you expect me to feel after you and mom embarrass me like that in front of her? We only asked her to join us on the dining table to have lunch with us. What is wrong with that? With all the praises. I mean, no one has praised me like that around here. Are you jealous? Yes! I mean, no. How can I be jealous of a common maid? Then maybe you should change. Maybe you should learn from Anna. Maybe you should learn to be well-behaved, just like her. Can you know this is an unfair thing to do, right? What, you now compare us? You know what? I'm late. I have to run off to work. So, Anne, tell me about yourself. Ma, there is nothing to know about me. My life is boring. <laughs> Obviously. So I heard you're really good with business ideas, planning projects, creating pitch, whatever that is. Yes, Ma. I studied economics. It's part of the program I studied in school. Oh, I see. So it's part of it also getting close to other people's men? What? You heard me. I know girls like you. You seize every opportunity you have to come into people's lives and wreck them. Ma, I'm sorry. You have the wrong impression about me. I don't like you, Anna. Nah, nah, nah. Not one bit. And I hate your guts. Now listen to me. Look. Look at me when I'm talking to you and read my lips. If I catch you anywhere around Ken again, you won't like what I'll do to you. Huh? Now bend down and clean. That's where you belong. Down! Don't stare at me like that. Good. and clean it properly. What happened? We've made it. Bro, we have made it. We made what? You remember that girl, Anna? The one from the restaurant the other day? The hot 
Bob Box. Yes, she is a genius. Check this out. <laughs> How did she do this? I don't know. Not just one, but three of the companies she sent out a pitch deck and proposals to, they want to work with us. What Can you see that? This I don't freaking know. I just know she's a bloody genius. <laughs> you know what I want to do now? I want to grab her, kiss her, and spin her around mm -mm, and mm -mm, rain mm -mm. kisses on her because she deserves. Mm -mm. No, go and have sex with her now. What? Come on, bro. You know this calls for celebration. Oh, uh, Batman, <laughs> bring more drinks. Bring more drinks. What are you wearing? Bring more drinks. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Sorry, it's just I got carried away because I'm really excited! What is going on here? We did it. Did what? The proposals you sent out. All three companies are interested! Wait, what? <laughs> really? Oh my goodness! Oh yes. Oh my god. I got a meal earlier today. But it happens it's been there for two days, but it got mixed up in my junk meals. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. I told you, bad things happen to good companies. Mm -hmm. But you just have to be positive always, instead of handling your, your bad days like one sports little brat. <laughs> okay, I would have that in mind. <laughs> oh, my baby girl, thank you very much. Do you know that since you entered this house, God has used you to bless us. Your wisdom is infectious. Look at how happy my son is. I can happy say that days. again, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. This calls for celebration. The finest wine in the bar. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Mom, let's go. This is celebration time. Yeah. Come, let's go celebration. Celebration time, bro. I got you from London. Exactly! Ma, you called me. Anna, why did you cut my dress? Why will I cut your dress? I didn't do it. Exactly, why would she ruin your dress? Okay, just, just shut up. If you're not going to support me or, or stand for what is right, then just zip it. Why did you cut my dress? Why did you do this? Do it. Why will I? Okay, I'll tell you why. Because you hate me. Because, because you're jealous of me. And because you want my man. <sighs> this doesn't make any sense. Why would she ruin your dress because she wants your man? Anna, go back to. No! She's leaving this house this minute. Why? Exactly, that's what I asked her. Why? Now listen, I don't want a repetition of what just happened. Do you hear me? Do I make myself clear? Rubbish. No. Yes. Are you alright? Yes, ma'am. It's okay. Just go back to what you're doing. Oh? Thank Sorry, ma'am.
Yes. Come in. Anna. How are you? I'm good, sir. Sir, please, I need your help. All right. Go ahead and ask. I know I have not walked up to one month. Please, can you help me with half of my salary for my mother's medical treatment? Your mom is sick? Yes. My kid sister just took her to the community medical center and I'll be needing money for her medical treatment. All right, um, I'm free at the moment. Would you mind if I join you? Really? Yes. Sure, 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 sure. Why not? All right, so let me go into the bathroom and freshen up. Okay. I'll join you shortly. Okay, sir. Let me quickly... Um, All right, go ahead. Son. Thank you, sir. Mother. Why don't you love me anymore? <sighs> Clara, what are you talking about? Of course I love you. You have been giving and all your attention. It's almost like you don't care about me anymore. You take her side. You support her. It's almost, it's almost looking like you want her for Ken and not me. Of course. I want Anna for my son. Every sensible mother will want a woman like Anna as a daughter-in-law. Not the type of woman that, will, that is willing to push the husband under a moving train simply because it benefits her. Clara, Ken is my only child and I want a peaceful life for him. Have you seen how happy he is anytime he is close to Anna? Have you seen how his face leads up anytime he sees Anna? Anna has been supporting him, encouraging him, always giving him listening ears anytime he is willing to talk. That is exactly the kind of woman every man wants as a wife. But you, Clara, what have you done for my son? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Only causing him unnecessary drama and nerve-breaking chaos. Mother. Clara, if you love Ken, let him go, please. <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> God bless you, my dear. Your daughter has done much more for my mother and I. So this is just our little way of showing our appreciation. Che, mom, that bill you said to this. Uh, it is small compared to what your daughter has given me. Look, mama, she has brought me happiness. And that is something money cannot buy. Ken, what are you saying? I'm not lying. You have made me a happy man. But now I see where you get the good qualities and energy from. Your mother. <laughs> Apple, they say, doesn't fall far from the tree. Exactly, Mama. <laughs> um, Mama, where should I keep this? On my head. Come and keep it on my head, since you can't find your way to the room. <laughs> All right, Mama. I have to go now. So soon? Yes, but I'll be back. You just make sure you get better soon, huh? Thank you very much, my son. Yes, ma'am. And Anna, stay as much as you want to and take good care of Mama. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Mama, let me see him off, okay? Thank you. Yes, I'm I think I. what love is like. 
Like what? The feeling of excitement when you're around them. And the feeling of sadness when you're missing them. I have no idea where you're driving at. I miss her. Even though she's been only gone for a day. Feels like forever. Clara. <laughs> when did you fall madly in love with her like this? Anna, you dummy. Oh. I'm talking about Anna. She's a smart girl. Yeah. She's full of life. She's passionate and enthusiastic. She's the full package. Wife material. Look, I'm talking one million yards. You can say that again. <laughs> Keeps me alive. How? You're my friend and I love you. No, you don't. You don't stop lying to me. You don't love me. All you feel is pity for me. Admit it already. Pity is all you feel for me. I am not going to let you destroy yourself. I will not let you use this substance. Jesus, babe. Wait, let me just have, just have one. Please. Control yourself. Look at what he's doing to you. Clara, look at me, look at me. You have to go. Just, just calm down, calm down. Clara, you have to go for me. Do this for me, please. If you truly love me, you have to go. Do this for us, for, for mother, for your parents. We want you to get better. Please, Clara, you have to go, please. I'm always going to be there for you, but you have to go. Please don't leave me. I'm miserable I will never leave you. you. I won't leave you. But you have to go. You have to go, babe. You have to, baby. You have to go. I want you to be better. You have to go. I miss my husband. I know you miss him too. I do miss him. I miss him as well. Don't ever stop reaching us for the stars. Even if they remain out of reach, you will still go further than not bothering to try. You are a shooting star, my dear. You are. Thank you, Mama. I promise you. I will never stop pushing. That's the spirit. <laughs> the young man came. You love him, don't you? Nay. Sometimes love is not enough. He's a good man, I know. But he's committed to another, even though he doesn't realize it yet. He loves you. 
I saw the way he looks at you. The way he was talking to you sweetly. I know. He lives with a woman. Does he love her? It doesn't matter. They sleep in the same room. Jealousy? Is that it? Nee, why would you even think of that? I'm not jealous. <clears throat> because from all the things we've discussed here, your main concern is that they share the same bed. Nee. <laughs> Mm, I sense jealousy. I'm being jealous. I'm not jealous. Oh, no. No, I'm not. Stop. <laughs> Take some water. Go ahead. Clara, you know that I love you, right? Yeah, and I love you too. Then please, go to rehab. You're getting rid of me. You know that I need you, right? That's the point. I don't want you to ever need me or anyone else. I want you to be able to fight your demons yourself. Learn to control it. You'll never see me again if I leave. Why would you say that? Hey, Clara, look at me. Look at me. Nothing is ever going to be able to keep us apart. You are an important part of my life. But we cannot be man and wife. We can be good friends, the best of friends. You love Anna. You love her so much you want to throw away everything we have built over the years. It's fine. I'll go to rehab. If you love someone, you would want them to be happy, right? If Anna makes you happy, then you can't take that away from me. Are you serious? I'm not a monster, Ken. Hey. <laughs> when you come out of rehab a new person, You'd realize that you only needed me to tame your demons. And you never really loved me as a lover. <laughs> and maybe then you would have found the one. Someone who would love you and cherish you as much as I did. Someone who would take away the whole chaos in your life. And then I'll give you my blessing. <laughs> hey, come here. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Yes, come in. Anna! <laughs> so here's the file. So, how's your new job treating you? Trust me, sir. 
this is a dream come true. All thanks to you. Thank you for believing in me, oh, Hotbox. <laughs> <laughs> I should be the one thanking you. This company is still standing today, all because of you. <laughs> Okay, sir, in there are the profile of the new recruits. Okay. This is good. This is good. What are you doing this weekend? You want to take me out? Oh my goodness, Anna, you're just too forward. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. But it's not exactly the kind of outing you would like. Mm. Mom wants you to come for dinner. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am deeply honored. Tell her I'll be there. All right. Wow. Okay, it's fine. I'll be in my office. Okay, dear. Yeah. Hot box. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, I know that my life would never be the same without you beside me to share it. I search my heart, I look within. And all I see is you. If you look within your heart and all you see is me, then we should spend the rest of our lives together. What I promise you is that no man would work harder at making you happy or cherish you more than I. Beside me is what would complete me, make me, fulfill me. Would you marry me and complete this circle of life with me? Let me be your hot box of chocolates for the rest of your life. Goodness. Uh, yes. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, sweet. Oh my God. Okay. I want to be your hot box. Oh. Chocolate. For life. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Mama, close your eyes. <laughs> 